My name is Samson Lorlo Jackson, and I'm um, top laner for Echo Fox. I grew up in Antioch, Illinois. It's a really small town, about 20, 30,000 people in that area. It's like a chain of lakes, there's a bunch of like small towns around it. I had a really good time growing up and I still have a lot of good like family relations, relationships and also friend relationships that go on to this day, so. I grew up with two brothers, one younger, and I have an older brother as well, and we're all three years apart. I mainly got the biggest influence four games from my brother and also my cousin. I think the thing that drove me the most was being super competitive with my brother because he's also a pro player for another game. He plays professional smite. He's really good at it too. He won the world championship for last year with his team. They're gonna try it in the game right now. Splice are gonna be your season five world champions. This is their moment. I think when we started growing up, we, we played WoW together. We were super competitive. We are always good too, that's the biggest thing. It's not like we were like bad and competitive. We were both really good at every game we played, so it kind of made us like just want to be better than the other person. It started with WoW, it then turned to like Diablo, and then it turned into like Bloodline Champions, turned to League of Legends eventually, and then he went off when Smite came out. I started playing with him a little bit, but then he just ventured off into that and found it more fun, so he stuck with it. I see him succeeding, I see me where I am right now. I'm not happy with where I am right now, but it, like he's really successful in his uh, career, so it drives me to get to that point and be even in a better spot in the future. My dad is an ophthalmologist and uh, my mom is a family care doctor. They both had pretty high aspirations of us growing up to maybe follow into their business ro uh, role model and just like follow their, their way of doing it. But I think we were both uh, like, passionate enough about what we wanted. So they started to believe slowly and slowly. And we also showed that we can make money doing it, right? They really wanted to be doctors. They really believed that. So after they saw us really believing in what we wanted, then things just became easy. It took some time at first, right? It's not like, hey, you want to go to California when you're 17 to play video games? Uh, yeah, goodbye, son. But it was really hard at first, if I'm being honest. And it took a lot of blind trust and just willingness to accept what we were doing to understand it fully. I think we're all in like a really good spot uh, emotionally and just as a family right now. So I'm really excited and just happy that we're able to trust each other to the point that we are now. I was 17 when I, I left junior year of high school. So at the start of like, Pretty much all this, I had to take a risk. And it's been with me for the next, like, past four years. I'm only 21 now. That first step, just like, imagine you're in probably, so it's my uh, winter break of first semester of high school. I get a call from Team Liquid, and they're like, hey, do you want to play for the first place team that was a regular season? And I'm like, well, I can go back to my second semester of high school, or I can go play for a really successful team that has Piglet, which is highly uh, respectable, especially at the time. Had Phoenix back then, had I Will Dominate, and just like a lot of big names. And the org was like top three, it's even like bigger now. So it's like I either take that risk or I just stay in high school, do the traditional route. I think that's carried with me the entire time. And I think esports, in order to be successful, you have to be a risk taker. Here, looking to make a mark. This split is Team Liquid with Lorlo making his NALCS debut. I will dominate, returning in the jungle. Phoenix in mid lane, Pig on AD carry, and Smoothie will be stepping up after the departure of X Special in the offseason with Loco Doco, TSM's former coach. Doing the pick bands. Team Liquid was really stressful, honestly, because I knew going into it that I took a really big like leap of faith, ditching everything. I'm putting a hold on pretty much my whole life to make this one thing work. It was a lot of just pressure in general. As time went on, I got really close friends with Dardock back then too. He was in his rookie split. He was 17 as well. And he also, he was pretty much in the same boat. He dropped out of high school and then came to play with me too. So I think we were able to connect in a way that not many players can nowadays. We're doing this together, we're sacrificing everything, so let's make this work kind of thing. And I think that was what made us do so well. TL dominated start to end. Yeah, Piglet went from zero to eight real quick there in the span of two minutes. TL, they were gonna secure their spot going to Vegas here, 3-0 over energy. Just incredible performance. We had a really good run that split. We almost made finals. We lost game five in semifinals. Definitely like the highlight of my career, I guess, my rookie split. It was a lot of good times and a lot of stress, pressure, and sacrifice that went into it, but I think that's what made it the best. I want you to be straight up with me and then just give the criticism and the comments. And then, so I do exactly what to ask, and then you say how I, mean, I treat Matt and Sam is, is disgusting, but you treat Sam worse. How is rolling your eyes in his face while he's trying to make his point, giving criticism, direct criticism? 
what does he get from also, you rolling your eyes? Also, you still straight up without, like, by respecting their feelings while you're doing it. Like, it can be friendly. That's, like, the whole point of this, like. Breaking point was weird, I would say. I didn't have much experience on other teams, so I didn't really know how to, I guess, deal with the hard talks and hard situations correctly. I was just kind of learning as it went, and then I'm like, is this how bad it's gonna be always? This is pretty, it's pretty bad, right? What a series from Apex. No one would have expected them to take down Liquid. This was supposed to be the easy match for Liquid. They're supposed to take this series, move on to fight C9 tomorrow, but Apex has other plans and keep their playoff hopes alive. I don't even think it was all bad either. We had that really bad run, like after, like in the Korea era. There was definitely times where it was really intense, but the main thing with that team that I haven't felt a lot with a lot of other teams I bet on is just the care and like passion and like the raw grit and just like sacrifice that those people put in every day. It just felt like your life was on the line when you're that team. It just felt like you walk in that room and the reason people get so upset, people like, care so much is because they want to win so much. I think if I went into that situation now, I'd be able to shape it way better. I think I have so much more tools and just understanding of how teams work, how people work inside a team, how why people are getting upset, the things they're getting upset at, but I was just really clueless and naive back then. It was hard for me to just like jump in and say, hey, this is this is wrong. This is, we can't be doing it like this. It's like, I, I didn't know it was wrong. I just thought it was like the norm and this is how we need to do to like succeed, right? So that was the biggest I guess maybe a regret for me, but at the same time, it's hard to look through hindsight and be like, hey, if I had this experience, I could go back and fix everything. So it's, it's kind of like unfortunate that I wasn't able to, I guess, fix it in that moment. From the Golden State Warriors, it's the Golden Guardians. In the top lane is Lorlo. In the jungle contracts. In the mid lane, high at Ad Carry is definitely their support. Matt and their oh, coach, I... Loco Doco. God! It was really new to me to adapt to just a different atmosphere and culture because I was with TL for two years. So when I got on that team, we just had a lot of things to work out, I'd say, in the first uh, back half. And there's a lot of internal problems too. We had some problems with the coaching staff in spring split, uh, Loco got removed. And we had like a coaching gap after like week two. It made it hard for us to like really improve because I think we were on a decent like, path so, like at the beginning of spring. That split kind of went to a wash. We, we won a few games, but it was just really hard. And then going to summer split with GGS. Yeah, just overall that split was decent. We started at, I think five and three. 21 minutes in. We'll finish on Ole and finish on the Nexus as they'll start the second day of the summer split with a victory over Team Liquid. That was David versus Goliath. That was 10th place versus first place from the last split. That is a blue shell if I have ever seen one. We ended up just not winning a game the rest of the split. I really thought there's a high chance of going to play off with that kind of record after we were five and five, where we could have ended seven and three and been like tied for first place or in sole possession of first place in summer. I don't know. The team just went really down really fast and it kind of sucked because we were like so close to winning both those games and we just let our season kind of fall flat after that. It just sucked and that's just the thing with esports. Things go so close to being good or, or bad and then when they fall short, it's like, well shit, <laughs> what can you do? Fox so far has been good. I think it's been a hard experience for us, but it's been successful because we, we started off the split off two and five and then we ended up winning a lot of games. Everyone was starting to worry like, oh, we're gonna end last place. And I kept saying to them like, just think about how good we are and how good we can be. And because we all know the potential that we do have in this room and just stick with that and make sure it actually works and just doesn't go to waste. The base is open. And Echo Fox looks like they're gonna be moving on. They see that Academy MSI Championship in their eyes, and they will have a chance moving on, taking down 100 Thieves Academy in the quarterfinals. Echo Fox is your winner. I don't know, I just had so much fun, honestly. It's just really refreshing, like being able to play on stage. It's just like something I missed the whole split. It just made me so happy, even if it was for Academy playoffs, it still was something I just want to keep doing. It just felt like a success because we had so many like bumps as a team throughout the whole split, and then we were able to come play a five game set and win it. Even though we lost first TSM in the next set, like pretty, pretty poorly. I don't think anyone was too sad. I'm still a little disappointed because I wanted to win the whole thing and I thought we were gonna be TSM as well, but I think the whole experience was just, it was really awesome. I just really like the people I'm playing with right now and I respect them a lot. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, and I think that's what builds camaraderie within a team. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to whatever the future may bring with not only me, but also them. For me, especially, I think whenever I played a game, even growing up, 
I never really cared about money, the fame, the any of that. I don't, I don't care. Like, I, I care about success and I care about winning. That's all I care about. I want to, I want to get in the game and I'll be better than people I'm playing versus. I just want to walk in the room and I want to play these games and I want to win and I want to be successful right now. I don't care about what's happening in three months and, and even a week. I just know when I walk in this room and I play a scrim, I'm going to win and I want to win. And that's always what drives me, no matter what. I want to make sure my team wins. I think since. I was 17 and got that first offer. I'm still in the same mindset. I don't think anything has changed with me. I think I just spent maybe an unseries of unfortunate events that led me to where I am. But also where I am is not bad. Like I'm happy. I learned a lot where I am. I think it's going to help me grow. I'm going to come back strong, and I know I will be in the LCS soon. There's no doubt in my mind that if there's a doubt, I don't think I would be saying it. It's just I'm. I'm honest, I know I will be. If I can't get there in a year, I'll get there next year. My goal is to get there as fast as possible, and I'm going to do everything like in my absolute power to get there. So.